G'day folks. Well, it's uh, back to the autopsy table tonight. <laughs> what we have is a vibration monitor by uh, Bentley Nevada. Made in Minden, Nevada, USA. Uh, it's a Series 5000 monitoring system. Uh, this came off an Ingersoll Rand 4-stage Centac uh, centrifugal air compressor. It was a 600 horsepower, or six, six, I think about 650 horsepower centrifugal air compressor uh, from BOC Gases Australia, and each centrifugal turbine had a vibration sensor mounted on its bearing to monitor its condition, and that's exactly what this station was designed to do. It was it would alert you to failing bearings and things because the the uh, impeller would start vibrating badly if either the bearing failed or it started to lose blades or something like that and you get alarms whatever you can uh, switch between readings from one to four and this vibration meter would tell you just how much vibration is going on inside that turbine chamber and if you got a higher reading you'd know that one's on its way out and you've got to shut the unit down and go into uh, repair mode so, anyway, I figure it's worth uh, tearing this one apart, even though it's been outside in the weather for quite some time. There's a lot of corrosion, rust, other nastiness in it, but we'll open it up and have a good look at it. much under the cover, just vents and that sort of thing. Okay, well, it's got a nice little rack of uh, control cards, and what look like relay boxes. Some fairly tough looking electronics. Sprague 1100 microfarad 50 volt DC caps. Hmm. There's potentiometers for trimming and adjustment, that sort of thing, calibration, the main vertical analog meter. Uh, yeah. Mm, all dipped in uh, conformal coating as well. Pretty decent electronics. The ICs are F7711s. Hmm. Yeah, they're all glued together. Those caps look a bit cooked. Good old fashioned electrolytics, 100 microfarad, uh, 25 volts. Some of these look like they're about to blow up. 
this whole thing would not be happy if it actually worked. And I didn't get the vibration sensors for it because they weren't any attached to the unit. The uh, compressors, turbine housings and everything had been dismantled and removed for spare parts. Yeah. These caps have a skin over the top of them, plastic, PVC, but the rubber grommets in the ends of them are about to blow clean out. It's not happy. <laughs> Still, very nice old electronics. I'll keep them. As for the rest of it, well, we've got an analog meter. Don't know how accurate that would be, but it's all there. Main transformer. A few old. Oh, what's that? Probably the rectifier. Uh, it's nice old electronics. It's just not a lot of it's particularly usable. Rotary switch is still okay. Even though this thing's been out in the weather for 15 to 20 years, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, internally, apart from bad capacitors and things like that, this thing would work. It's just a shame there was no sensors or anything to go with it, and the exterior components are completely ruined. They're just lamps. Hmm. Yeah, various potentiometers. And those are relay cans from what I can tell. Oops. Anywho, let's do a couple of close-ups and that should conclude this one. I'm not going to go too far into this one. I'll grab the analog meter, but most of this has been water and rain weather damaged for quite some time, so it's really not worth salvaging. Uh, anyway, let's try a couple of close-ups of the boards and other bits like that, and then go from there. Okay, well, there's some nice uh, 10k and 100k potentiometers. They're still okay, they haven't been rained through. Everything's been exposed to a lot of moisture, but it's not too bad actually. These resistors are 10 ohm 25 watt, 5 ohm 25 watt, and 8 ohm 25 watt. And they're metal cased heat sunk resistors, so I'm going to be keeping every single one of them. <laughs> Likewise, this meter is definitely out of calibration by the looks of it but it's uh, yeah still intact is it Riplet or something like that Buffalo sorry Bluffton USA I think that's what it says I'll try and get a good shot at that Bluffton USA Hmm. Interesting. It's heavy. It's got to be well, 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 well made. But yeah, some big DC caps from the power supply. Uh, what looks like a rectifier, very early rectifier. Oh, there's a couple of diodes there as well. So, hmm. Half wave or full wave rectifier. Not too sure. But these cans, pretty sure. Yeah, they're relays old relay cans I don't think yeah they're pretty well sealed so that's alright no, no practical use to me so I might as well open one up okay well I sort of gave up halfway through trying to remove the, one of those relays they're well and truly rusted to the board but I'll give you a close look at some of the cards not too long but they're uh, fairly well made, completely dipped in uh, coating. 
moisture proof, corrosion proof. Some of those ICs. Very heavy, heavy duty old components. Certainly don't make it like this anymore. Which is a damn shame because this stuff is really well made. Hundred microfarad cap. This big old carbon resistors. Quite nice stuff. Same with this one. That cap's been leaking. Big carbon resistors. There's like Motorola symbol on those transistors. Is it 2N1673? Yeah, Motorola 2N1673s. Korean made ICs. Hmm. Well, that should conclude the autopsy on that uh, vibration monitor. Uh, I was going to throw it as, as it was, so I figured it'd be worth doing a half assed autopsy on it. Uh, it was actually in better condition than I thought, considering how long it'd be out in the weather. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and stay tuned for the next one, which will be uh, Mitsubishi Magna 99 to 2002-ish PCMs, airbag controller, and so on. Uh, thanks for watching.